girl called Diana. What's up everyone, David here from Mute TV. We are live at the Gallery Above Penn Square, Reading, PA. I have the beautiful songstress, Jennifer Kinder here with me. How are you, Jennifer? I'm good, how are you? Doing well, glad you can come out. Thanks for having me. Jennifer is a part of the Amy Winehouse Tribute Band, the Uptown Band, and she is also working on her solo album with the tentative title of Twisted. <laughs> Where should we start? Do you want to talk about your solo album first? We can do that, yeah. Alright, cool. So, Twist It. You say you just wrote that song and you feel like it is a fitting title for the album. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the feel of the album and what direction you're going in? Well, everything that I write is, it has personally happened to me. And it, I mean, down to every single lyric, I make okay. sure that everything mm -hmm. is very honest and truthful. Mm -hmm. um, and Twist It is kind of I guess the way I would describe myself musically, you know, it depends on my mood, it depends, you know, sometimes I gotta get in a, the right frame of mind to write, mm -hmm. and, and if I'm angry that particular day, then I'm gonna write an angry song, and, and um, so I just, I felt it was fitting, because I, I can be all twisted. Okay. <laughs> I think we all can, right? Yeah. We're, at times, we're all <laughs> twisted in this twisted world, I guess, right? That's right. Um, so the direction, the sound, what does the album sound like? If you had to compare it to anything that's out now, does it sound completely different from anything that's out now? How does it sound to you? Um, it's, it's kind of hard to, to explain. Um, it's definitely uh, like real soul R&B. So Jennifer, you're most known for, I guess, your Amy Winehouse tribute band. Um, can you tell us about how that got started and why you chose to and continue to uh, choose to pay tribute to Amy Winehouse? Uh, well, um, I I discovered her in about 2004 and just fell in love with her music. It was something completely different than anything that I usually liked. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I had been performing her songs from that time on. And when she passed away, uh, I found somebody on YouTube who lived in Brazil, and he, he loved her just as much as I did, and, and he ended up coming to the States, and we put together an acoustic show very quickly, um, and, and that was the start of it, and it was, it was successful at, at the Crown Plaza, so then I was approached to um, be a headlining act for Burke's Jazz Fest last year, so then I had a full band, I, had, I believe it was an eight-piece band with horns and everything, and um, we just did another performance at Building 24. And that went really well. Um, nice. It's it's nice to introduce her music to people who otherwise would would not listen to her because a lot of people get caught up in the whole in the media hype. hype. And yeah. um, I had so many people come up and say I wasn't a fan before, but now I am because she really was a great artist, mm -hmm. great songwriter, and. Um, and that's what I, I want to keep going for her, you know, in her, in her memory. If you haven't seen the show, the show is great. Check out uh, MuteMag.com. We were fortunate enough to catch um, a live performance from Jennifer singing some of her favorite Amy Winehouse songs. Do you have a personal favorite? Or is it too hard to pick just There, I do. Uh, Take the Box is my favorite song. That's from her first album. I think you performed that. Oh, yeah. At the front. You're also lead singer for the Uptown Band. Do you yes. want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, the Uptown Band uh, was put together by my husband and myself. Um, we kind of handpicked everybody that we wanted in the band because okay. we wanted everybody to be friends too because it's very important when you're going to work together all the time that Definitely. everybody gets along. Mm -hmm. um, we've been together, I think, since 2006, but I, I don't know for sure. Time, time flies. Yeah, We're very yeah, busy. Uh, I'm very fortunate that I get that's what I do for a living. Nice. Um, and uh, 
we, we play clubs, not, not so much anymore. We do more corporate events, private events, okay. um, weddings. But that usually takes up every weekend for me. Do you prefer the private events or the club? I personally like the club because that's more high energy and it's more mm -hmm. dance music. But it is nice and rewarding to be asked to be at somebody's wedding, you know, to right. be their band and be part of their special day. So, so what's next for the Uptown Band? We have a CD coming out um, in March. Uh, we're going to do a couple covers. Um, some of my originals will be on it. Some of my husband's originals will be on it. He's also a lead singer and he's a saxophone player. He's nice. a band leader. Uh, and then I believe my our keyboard player also has some originals that are going to be on there. So we're working with Benny Sims. Oh, nice. He's our producer, and uh, so it, yeah, we're excited. Been very busy, very busy writing and recording. David here reporting live from Mute TV. We are at the Gallery Above Penn Square for the winter issue cover shoot of Mute Magazine. Jennifer, it's very nice for you to come by and spend some time with us. Thanks for having me. No problem. Guys, look out for Jennifer. She is definitely on the rise with her bands, the Uptown Band, the Amy Winehouse Tribute Band, and definitely keep a lookout for her new album, Twisted, that will be coming out in January 2014. That's the plan. <laughs> you heard it here first. Jennifer Kinder, David Nazario, MuteTV, MuteMag.com.